Hello there, I'm Nigel Mill, and in this video I'm about to rant, because this is absolutely unacceptable. So, have you ever uh, known about the game Helldivers 2? It's pretty popular. So, uh, I got a lot of bad things to say about this, and it is especially doubly right now that I want to, you know, uh, give you my frustration with this game. So, apparently, uh, even, even as a customer that bought the Super Citizen Edition for 50-something dollars, right? Uh, a long time ago when it came out in February or something, right? I should have a working product. Am I correct? I should have a game that can uh, be stable and can play, right? I should be able, since it is a co-op multiplayer game, I should be able to connect to people in co-op and multiplayer, correct? Well, apparently not. Because Helldivers 2 just it keeps getting worse. I mean, actually, Sony and Arrowhead are pieces of shit. And I am about to uh, explain to you why. And this is going to be uh, hopefully a short video. Anyways, I bought the Super Citizen Edition, right? For uh, 50 some dollars. And uh, when it came out, it was completely unplayable. I mean, the game run... 60 fps and all that stuff but on a multiplayer co-op game you could not connect to a multiplayer co-op part of the game the servers were completely fucked you know you could matchmaking did not work you know as only sometimes it worked and uh, a lot of the times you disconnect and uh wow I paid fifty dollars for yet again another another uh, unfinished, broken, buggy uh, live service game. Yet another tri uh, not triple A, but uh, another game that comes out like that. Just like many other games that come out like that nowadays, right? Then they patched. Um, they did an update on Hell Divers too. And they broke the game even further. Now, at that point, I could not connect to any matchmaking at all. It, it had a 0% success rate that I connect to anything. Except friends. Luckily for me, I made a, like one or two friends that that was the only way I could connect to other people. That is the only way I could play. Helldivers 2 with other people is by connecting to friends. That means the other 99.9% .9 of players that I couldn't connect to, I couldn't play with them. So, fuck, you know? And then it took Arrowhead like three or four weeks to actually fix the problem. And this is uh, the irritation that I have with uh, modern games now and then that they don't test their servers they don't test their games before release and they put it out there full price anyways and the customers get a defective not non-working product at release date this should be illegal but it is not so uh arrowhead the pieces of shit that they are again fucked up on the game and now right now i cannot play it and many other people cannot play it either but what is the arrowhead's response for this problem Meh. i know we are aware that you people are experiencing these problems but guess what we don't care we're and you, we're gonna do more cool shit without actually fixing the problem. That is uh, one of the responses that I saw on uh, one of the community manager's uh, tweets or replies uh, somewhere. Anyways, right now I'm about to show you why I cannot play this game. 
<clears throat> Anyways, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I left because my microphone cut yet again. So that's a problem I need to look after. But uh, I don't know where I left in my rant. But it seems like uh, Arrowhead does not care about fixing the game and only care about making cool stuff. Like, they're saying, fuck you customers, keep paying us, and get this defective game right out of the box. Look, I cannot, I cannot aim. I'm recording at 60 FPS. And I can't, I can't, I can't. Everything is blurry. I don't know if uh, the video from my OBS captures how laggy it is. But, uh, it is laggy. I am only getting 15 FPS. I'm only getting 15 FPS. And I've tried everything. So, <clears throat> it bothers me a lot that, that, uh, I cannot, I, for a game that I paid 15, $50 for, I don't know if uh, the video will catch how laggy it is, but the OBS video is a whole lot more stable than in this video, but I'm about to, you know, record it on a, on a, on a different screen so that you can see how, how horrible this is, you know. It, it's it's just ridiculous that I paid fifty dollars for this game and yet uh, the developers are not concerned about this widespread issue and it's not just me it is other people as well you know when I ran this game on my older system it had the input lag and the lag because of my technology hardware that was bad but now that I have high-end, top-of-the-line hardware, this game is just kaput. It, it sucks. It doesn't perform like it did before, so after the patches that Arrowhead has done on this game, I cannot play it anymore. So, okay, that's my little rant. You know, hopefully uh, not a lot of my voice was... Uh, cut off because I don't know for, for some reason my laptop audio cuts off and I don't know why but uh, yeah I hope I didn't say <laughs> I didn't uh, I get muted for too long anyways <coughs> uh, yeah fuck Arrowhead oh and fuck Sony too because soon uh, I will not be able to play the game at all <laughs> because uh, Sony uh, established a mandate that this game would require a PlayStation Network account even for the PC which plays. You know, this just proves that PlayStation Network is not needed because the game runs, the game plays. The game can connect to other people perfectly fine without the PlayStation Network. And what does Sony do? Make more inconveniences. So unless they backtrack, and I hope they do, because this game is being a reviewed bomb to hell. Uh, hopefully Sony will, you know, uh, go back their bullshit ways, you know, their asshole ways. They will backtrack on their decision and actually not make a requirement of a PlayStation Network that is so inconvenient. If you forget your password, you need to go <laughs> through uh, this forum, then then that forum, and then that forum, and then that forum. If you use a VPN, you can get banned. And I use a VPN almost all the time. And also, if you didn't know, PlayStation Network in some countries is not allowed. 
you know, in some countries, PlayStation is region locking itself from people, from customers. You know, example, you cannot play uh, PlayStation Network games on uh, Philippines. You can't because uh, play Sony doesn't allow it on the Philippines. That happens with other places, China, uh, Timbuktu, whatever other place, right? The decision is always theirs and that this is why having you know letting companies have complete total control over your games is completely completely needs to be outlawed it needs to be removed from existence you know having the companies having too much hold on your games that you bought is always a bad sign and this is another bad sign of it because on top of PC, you know, games almost never needing a PlayStation account. Now there's a mandate for it uh, soon that's probably going to be established uh, in the coming weeks, right? And then the people that bought this game will not even play this game because they live in certain countries that will just make the game, you know, it will access deny them. From this game so what the fuck Sony what the fuck Arrowhead I mean I know that Arrowhead is owned by Sony so this is majority of the fault lies within Sony but uh, still this is just horrible decision after horrible decisions after horrible decisions you know I, I was already mad at Arrowhead for you know unoptimizing this game to hell you know making me not play the game at all you know setting uh, uh, limits on currencies so that means it encourages you to play less when you reach those uh, capacities there's a lot of things wrong with this game and I played this game for a long time I played the first Helldivers for a lot too but uh, this is just bad you know there's new content every month yippee hooray still doesn't change the fact that i cannot play this game at all without experiencing insane lag so i cannot play the game even if all the cool stuff is being added it does not matter to me so you know with the with the unoptimization the psn accounts the can the country banning VPN banning and all that stuff. I paid $50 for a very defective game. Uh, basically. So, yeah. yeah. Helldivers 2 and Arrowhead are pissing me off. Because Arrowhead just likes to suck Sony dick. And just... I know that they are owned by Sony and they have to, yes, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, I suck your dick right away. That's, you know, that's what they need to do because they're owned by Sony, but still, they are being complete and total assholes and complete incompetent buffoons in their uh, Discord servers, in their, tw in their uh, Twitter accounts. They're being absolutely unhelpful. And they are attacking their own customers. I don't understand what the fuck is wrong with Arrowhead. And uh, if you keep this up, Arrowhead and Sony, this game, for as much good as this game has, you are completely ruining it by uh, inserting your own bullshit and attacking your customers, insulting your customers, those are all no-no. Those are all no-nos. Big, big no-nos. Your focus should be on your customers, Arrowhead. Not Sony. You know, unless... Uh, that's what I think, you know. If if Helldivers 2 was made by something that is independent, you know, published by themselves, you know, funded by themselves, like Baldur's Gate 3. Look at how amazing Baldur's Gate 3 turned out, and they don't have, have to answer to anybody. They don't have to answer to investors, they don't have to answer to publishers. 
they have an amazing CEO over at Alarian Studios, and they have an amazing team, and they made an amazing game without compromises. But Arrowhead is making a whole lot of uh, compromises, and they don't give a shit if I can play the game or not. Because right now, it is unplayable for me. And soon, it will be unplayable for many, many others. Hopefully this decision is backtracked. Hopefully Sony gets, uh, you know, hit in the balls. And uh, come to a realization that they shouldn't be elitist, elitist communist bastards. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, this is a rant that I had with uh, Hell Labyrinth 2, with Arrowhead, and with Sony. So, thank you everybody so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.